Ooh. <laughs> you feel that one go? Yeah, I felt it all the way. It's all the like way. everything <laughs> went into place. Today I'm with Jessica and she has a nice little history of neck and back pain. So Jessica, tell us what's happening. Oh goodness. <laughs> um, it started about nine years ago. I slipped a couple of discs out in my back. I think it's the L4 and L5. Um, I've been coming here since, I don't know, nine years ago or so. Yeah. Started seeing Dr. Bell. Um, but as of last summer, I had um, a hernia. So I had to have surgery for that. And the way that it affects your abdomen, it just, everything is pulled completely out of place. Right. So. And so you're having back pain? Yes, it's hip and back. Hip it's and like back. right here. And does it stay there or does it radiate down the legs? And um, the it just stays here yeah. now okay. since the surgery, but. Right. Do you ever have mid back pain? Neck pain, headaches, stuff Everything like that? pain. Everything, <laughs> Everything pain. pain at the end of the day, yes. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So what we want to do today is to assess what's going on in the body and then start making the corrections. Okay. So on a scale of one to 10 and 10 is the worst and zero is I feel perfect. Where do you feel right now before we get started on that scale? Well, here it's more Everywhere. like an eight or a nine, eight but nine. everything else is just kind of there. There. Which it's, you look it's been so long that it's just like an annoying All right. annoyance that's there. Right. But today this hurts. Well, you know, <laughs> one of our goals is. one of our goals is always to get the problematic pain down to as close to zero as we can possibly make it in a visit. Right. And then of course we're always assessing for weakness and the goal is to make you always stronger than when you came in. So a lot of people will be weak when they come in and stronger when they leave. And of course, get the annoyances down a little bit so one can enjoy life and have fun. <laughs> and we want to do it as, as pain free or have fun in life as drug free as we possibly can because yes. we know the medical model is just drug therapy and we yes. want to get some good traditional health care. Which is why, um, that's actually why I started seeking chiropractor because my doctor just wanted to, here's a prescription for this, and here's a prescription for that, and I just wasn't interested in it. So. Makes sense. And chiropractic has worked for you over the years. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the oh, old, yeah. The older we get, the more traumas we have, it gets a little more complicated, but we're always here to help people. So let's do our basic assessment and see okay. how the body's talking to us today. Right. So you're going to come over here, and I'm going to have you sit here and face the wall. All right. So we're just going to do a soft assessment today. Let's just see... Anything really sore here in the shoulders? How's that feel just when I touch? Um, fine to touch. How about when I palpate down this little quadrant muscle here? How those feel? Those feel tight there. Are they sore? No. <laughs> okay. How about the pecs? Any tightness through here? No. Nope. And we'll just do the traps. It starts or, right there. Starts right there? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll do some muscle work in there. Both sides or one? No, just this side. Just this side. The left side is more than the other. Yeah, okay. it goes here and down. And down. And then it right and here is where, yeah. Right. So exactly. you can feel it all the way in here. Yeah. All right, we'll work on all that stuff today. That's always fun. Let's check some of the nerve roots here. We're going to start with, first thing I like to do on both sides is just feel the shoulders. Is the patient's arms even gliding the way they're supposed to? And quite often, when there's a lot of neck problem, you'll feel the shoulder right here start getting tight. Like, I really have to use a lot of force. Hold that arm right there for me. I'm going to apply a load up here. Do not let me push the arm down. Give me full strength. And I'm not even going to try. <laughs> it just collapses on down. We need to fix that. Yes, we do. Hold that one there. Okay. Let's just challenge this side as strong as you can. Nothing there. Uh. Weak as can be. Yes. Let's drop down and do the biceps, this muscle group here. So you're going to lock in. I'm going to push yeah. down. Don't let me. Hold tight. And that's pretty weak. One more time. Give me full strain. Give me everything. Nothing. So the goal of my clinic, person walks in, they're weak. When they leave, they should be stronger. It's sometimes it's difficult to make everything perfect in terms of no pain, but as long as the patient is stronger than when they leave and we're working towards an end game, then you'll quite frequently see them get out of pain and start feeling good within a few visits. And then the adjustments start to last longer and longer. Let's just do a quick look at the low back. Let's do this L1, bring this one up. Hold tight for me, I'm gonna push down. Oh, do not let me push the leg down, hold okay. tight. There's that nothing. one's not gonna, it's not yeah, there's not gonna be any give to it. All right, bring this one here, hold tight for me, nothing there. <laughs> Let's check, because of what's going on, I'm going to do another check here. So let's take the shoes off real quick. And what we're going to do is check the L5. The L5 is done this way. I'm going to cradle the foot. You're going to push it up here. 
I'm gonna push down. Don't let me push the foot down. And I can just I can just get it right. I'm not even trying. There's nothing there. Let's do this one. Do it again. Hold tight and notice how there's nothing. No, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing there. It's like I'm just falling apart. You're doing it. So let's just loosen the body up. A little muscle work first, and then we're gonna get into the adjustments. Sure. And just we'll just kind of float through this. So I'm gonna have you go face down here. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite instruments of getting muscles to relax. <laughs> and so I'm gonna set this on a low setting. And we're gonna start up here. I just like to loosen this up. And just kind of run down the muscles here. Now when I'm doing this work, a patient will sometimes tell me they're sore. But I'm also looking for muscle twitching where they go into spasm, the patient will jerk. And we'll be able to work those trigger points out a little bit. So now she had more on this side, so let's go over here and see what she says. Oh, how's that feeling there? Feeling it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right in here. Really sore. Really sore, she says. All right, let's work it. Now we're not driving in hard. We're just letting the weight of the machine do its job. This is one of my favorite instruments. And we just know our muscles, so I'm just working the different muscle groups here. And just talk to the body. But we want to do just enough to relax the muscles, not so much that we make a problem worse because of too much muscle spasm. So it's a balance act here that you kind of, the longer you're in practice, the more you do this work, you get a feel for. There's nothing like clinical experience to find things you feel here. Okay, how are we doing here now? You feeling okay through there? Just relaxing a little bit? Perfect. Sometimes I'll grab a big old muscle, the upper traps here, and just kind of rub them in there a little bit. Grab both sides over here and work it a little bit. Get it feeling good. Then I like to go down to the calf. So this area, a lot of people, is really tender. Now she's already hollering at me. <laughs> and we just go to the lateral side, the medial side of each calf, down the center. Get some feedback. How are we doing? I don't know if I want to laugh or cry. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> it's both. Gonna come up to some big muscle groups here. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Good. Good. And you handling that okay? Yeah. Good. Ah, oh, there it that is. That made me <laughs> Yeah, there it is right there. A little bit of gluteal muscle flexion going in here. <laughs> it's not there it is. Control it. it just works so well. Now see, I put it in here and I can feel that muscle just tighten up. So we're just gonna gently work on this. <laughs> you okay there? Yeah, it's not that it doesn't hurt. It's just weird to have your body yeah. pull away involuntarily. Yeah. Okay, just a little bit to wake it up. If anything becomes too pain, we'll just holler at me. Right. We're trying to go slow and guide the body. It'll, it'll guide us. Now I'm not getting too much activity over here. If you can get in close, you'll see how it's kind of smooth. But if I get over here, there it is. That's the muscle twitch that we're looking at. So we got a problem in here that we definitely want to take care of. But we'll get to that one. I kind of follow a system and I work my way through the body and we'll get to everything eventually. The thing is, is we're not in a hurry. The body just talks to us and we just work on things. And we, so, Working on the body is like having a conversation with a person. We're having a conversation with the body. We're just talking. The body's telling us where it wants to go. And so we're going to start in the middle. Take a little breath for me here. And we're just going to loosen these up. There they went. Ooh, that was a nice release there. <laughs> Did you feel that one? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to sneak over here and work on these. Take a little breath in. All the way out. Just let your drift away. And there it went. Nice. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and do the lower ones here. I like to get right here. A lot of sitting, a lot of bending and lifting. This T12, T11, T12, L1 becomes really tender on some people. So just out of palpation, is it tender at all here? No. Not too bad? Good. Not to touch. Not to touch. I like that. Take a little breath for me. Let it all out. Just settle into it. A little baby one. Not a big one at all. So that was good. So now we're going to clear out the neck first, then we'll clear out the lower back, and then we'll start our process of 
seeing how the body's compensating. So flip over for me. And so I always begin a lot of my adjustments with the traction adjustments. Take the head up. I always use, there's a lot of different instruments I've said many times that we can use. I always enjoy the body pillows. They're a soft cloth that I can cradle the neck. And I'm gonna start with a very simple traction. And then I'll get my assistant to help. Take a deep breath in, let it all the way out. And then we bring it to tension slowly and there it went. Woo! <laughs> You feel that one go? Yeah, I felt it all the way. It's all the like time. everything went into place. Okay, now let's do the next stuff. Let me have this arm here. Pull tight for me. Arm by your side. I'm going to push in. So now we're going to go L1, L2, goes weak, L2 there, or L2 here. Is that tender right there? Mm -hmm. A little bit? Ish, Ish. A little bit. Let's block L2. So I have Cassidy, my assistant. She's going to block for me. Take a deep breath in. She's gonna push in and ride and block that vertebrae. Oh yeah. Slide it right <laughs> in. Now some people can feel these, some people can. Did you feel it slide and go? Yeah, I can feel Three, four, five right here. This one or this one. Feel that. Pull that one. Deep breath in. All the way out, right in. Oh yeah. Ooh, well. <laughs> Doing really well. Yay! Well, I haven't been properly adjusted since the surgery. Okay. So <laughs> We're going to get it all unwound. Hold tight for me. I'm going to do a different type of test. I'm going to go back to the back of the spine, start at L1, muscle test these. And I'm looking for it to go weak. But once again, it doesn't tell me really what's wrong with it. It just gives me an idea that I need to look at that nerve root and challenge it. So everything feels strong, but we're not even done yet. So we're going to put you to gravity. Come on up. I'm gonna have you stand and walk for a second. Now I have people stand and walk because over and over again we live in a world where we have to stand and move and live. <laughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes the body laying down, you take the stress off of it against gravity, it gives you one thing. When you go against gravity and check it again, you get compensations. And we wanna keep pulling on those until the body stops. And the patient says, I have no more pain. Have a seat for me? Good. Let's challenge. Now, how does it feel right now? I mean, just round one. Better. Better? Yeah, All right. Definitely. But better is not the best we can do yet. So hold tight for me. I'm gonna push down. That is still <laughs> a little weak. So yes. we got more to work on. We're not done. Hold tight for me. So I'm gonna go back. Now I can feel that right there. Is that tender? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's work on C5, C6, middle of the neck. So Cassie, I'm gonna come over here. Go ahead and lay down for me. Now okay, we're gonna get a little more specific in our adjusting. And we're gonna fine tune this even closer. We're gonna start with C5 and C6 on the right side here. Okay. Take a deep, we're gonna block it, position, take a deep breath. Let it all the way out, clear your mind, let it drop. <coughs> that move? Mm -hmm. Feel it move? Oh yeah, she's like, I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a relaxing release. It is, It's just actually. like, whoa, what happened? It's like mm -hmm. all the pressure and the pain just kinda goes Melts away. away. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna do another quick check. I wanna see something. Now I do all kinds of checks, and you've watched videos, you'll see me do things a lot of different ways. My mind's just going and assessing. But 20 some years of doing this, you just start learning different things and just mm -hmm. flow with it. Hold your leg right there. Okay. I'm gonna push down, don't let me. Do I have tone? I don't. <laughs> She's putting everything in and I can move it. So there's, I'm still not, I'm, I'm not satisfied yet. Hold tight. So we're gonna check something here. Hold tight for me. Put this arm down, hold tight for me. I'm gonna push here. I'm just gonna, Compress this hip and there it goes. I'm gonna compress this hip. Now this one isn't moving when I lay into it. There they are. There you go. So let's go ahead and block these. And I'm gonna have let's check L5 because that's just up there. Yeah, let's go ahead. So clinical experience, I'm gonna block this hip right here this week, but we're also gonna block the L5 and that's tender, right? Yes. And she's giving me the <laughs> oh scrunchy face. Squishy face. So we're gonna block that, stabilize the hip, take a deep breath, let it all the way out. Oh yeah. It <laughs> it's a big one, better. Now let's just do let's just do a point tenderness and see see if there's any less tenderness. Sometimes yeah. people notice right away. Yeah, yeah. actually. <laughs> Hold tight for me. But we're still not done. So let's come on up and let's walk again, put you to gravity, see what the spine tells us to do. 
right. Any symptom changes with the hips? Any things you've noticed? It doesn't hurt anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> On this side, it was like right here. And it's right? gone. Mm -hmm. well, that's what we want. Now we're going to go hunting again. So let's go ahead and go back to our neck and start working our way down. We're going to go to here. All right, so I can tell right away that our shoulder's sliding better. I can feel that. Hold tight from here. Is that stronger? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hold tight. Strong. That one's it's stronger, but still. having done this a lot, I kind of suspect something evil is going on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to, because of the way, so we can go individual C5, C6, C7, but we know with technology, background neurology, and people are spending a lot of time looking down, computers, they sort of slouch, this. and actually your C7, T1 area gets a lot of mechanical stress to it. And we can go right to it and pick it up with grip strength, hold tight for me, and I shouldn't be able to hold tight. And I'm see, I can, I, I'm not in neutral, I'm peeling these fingers. So I'm going to bypass, because of clinical experience, I'm going to bypass C6, C7, jump down the T1, T2 area, clear those, we'll usually clear up the other vertebrae as well, and probably get that one right there that's a little tender. Is that tender in there? Yes. Yeah. So let's do C6. Let's do C7, T1 bilaterally. So on your back. And of course the measure is, do you have strength back to that area when we're done? And we're gonna keep going until we do. So I'm gonna position, I'm gonna lock this in a little bit. Position how I want it. She's gonna block. You're gonna take a deep breath. Put the air out. I'm bring it to tension, nice and easy. And oh yeah. there it went. Let the patient recover for a second because that was a huge release. And the yes. mere fact they're la laughing knows that we got it. Are we ready? Okay, mm -hmm. so because you're laying here, I'm just going to double check one other spot. We're going to do a mid thoracic, upper thoracic adjustment this way. And what I'm going to do is just kind of come right at the base of the neck and just below it, pick up T1, T2, T3, and just bring it to tension. And there's a little bit more still hiding out. Come on mm -hmm. up for me. Now, let's just see if we have a little bit more strength. Doesn't always mean that we fix it, but is there strength? Hold tight for me. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Look down to the floor, hold tight. Definitely. Look over here and down. We're gonna really pull on that cord. Yep, yeah. hold tight. Definitely stronger. Let's do the same maneuver on this side, as strong as you can. Yeah, Look yeah. down and over here, yep, yeah. hold tight. It's definitely not pulling apart. Yeah, it wasn't like it was for sure. Alright, that's a good change. And sometimes it, you know, is it perfect? Maybe not. But you haven't been adjusted in a good month because you've been out with an injury. Right. But I think in a few visits we'll have that full tone back all the time. So let's go to the lower back now. Okay. And that, that was less pain when you were walking around. Yes. So I want to just challenge the core here. Make sure these upper ones hold tight for me. Is better it than it was. Better? We're not, well, we may have more to work on. We're going to check. That's definitely stronger. Sure. Let's yeah. check the L5, the bottom of the foot here. Hold tight. No, that's already stronger. Yeah. Let's check this one. These are. Before there was like there was nothing. no resistance, you were just yep. putting my hand. Or my so we're going to do one other adjustment. Just want to see very gently if I can get a little bit more. So lay on your side and face me over here. Our more traditional chiropractic, which is fine. But we're just asking permission from the body to let us work. <laughs> the innate intelligence of the body will guide us to what it's looking for. And you don't have to be forceful with it at all. So I'm just going to go kind of down low here. Oh, very gently, take a little breath for me. It oh. already adjusted. Just, you already felt it. It just did. It just did. I just brought it to tension and it's already moved. I'm not going to go hard, we're just going to do a little. Here's a little bit more. Let's go to the other side. So, a vertebrae that start to release, sometimes you just bring it to tension, it just pops right into place. We don't have to beat the body up to get things to move. That's nice. So, once again, we're going to position, bring the tension, and just very gently. Uh, <laughs> got a little bit more out of it. Mm -hmm. Breathe for a second. Now I'm going to have you stand up. Let's just walk for a minute. Give the body a chance to compensate against gravity. Also give me some feedback what you feel when you're walking. Better. Okay. Everything is, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it was like, it felt like my hip was up yeah. and like rotated forward. The, just, the, just this side. And now it feels like it's all back. Into Let's place. sit facing this way. I'm going to do one other technique. And I'm going to finish up with a little bit of percussing on the spine. Here I have a different adjusting instrument. And I'm just going to take the curve, start at L1 here. We're just going to kind of 
just gently work through this vertebrae, putting a little force posterior and anterior on the spine, and just kind of work our way down. And there's a lot of variations of this technique we can do. I've done them, an example, arms across the body for me. Like Rotate this. the body this way, you know, and you can do different things, go to the other side. Sometimes I like to incorporate motion into it, back to center. Doctor's discretion, there's a lot of variations of themes we can do here. Are you feeling okay handling this? Mm -hmm. No discomfort? Yeah. Good. That's enough there. Okay, now let's do a quick check. I'm gonna have you flip over here and face me. And then we're just doing a little, <laughs> just wanna jump down to the lower nerve roots here. Check this L5, hold tight. Look at that. <laughs> nice and strong. <laughs> hold tight. Nice and strong. Bring this mm -hmm. leg up. Better. Better. Much better. Much better. Room for improvement. I feel there's room for improvement. But we take the body a little bit at a time. But we definitely got improvement up here. We got a lot of improvement in the nerve roots down there. Mm -hmm. And this is the first real visit you've had in a while. So oh, yeah. let's <laughs> give this body a chance to settle down. Recheck it again in a few days and see the story it tells again. Okay. And just keep moving you gently forward. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. you.